after a week without Jeffrey Donaldson, um, I'd be mulling over the whole situation up there in Northern Ireland. Um, regular viewers of the channel will notice I've made quite a lot of videos over the time it's been running about events in Ireland or, or Northern Ireland. Um, Jeffrey's um, fall from grace was rather unexpected, and I thought at first about making a video the day after about it, but I wanted to see how events developed. So let's have a look and see after a week how things are going with Jeffrey. This is how the BBC is reporting it. Here's Gavin Robinson, who's like taken over for now. Upheaval in the DUP over the resignation of Jeffrey Donaldson as party leader should not deflect unionism from the task ahead. Well, that's all very well to say, but like it's it's a, a, an amazingly strange and surreal situation where the the party leader has fallen from grace from a height in this way and plummeted downwards. I, I can't see how it cannot. Um, the interim DUP leader was speaking almost a week on from being installed in the role. Fortunately, he's not the de the the um the DUP leader is not the f deputy first minister, which people in Britain should be aware of. He's the party leader, right? Uh, so Jeffrey resigned, as it says here, after being charged with rape and other historical sexual offences. How this is all going to evolve, I don't know. It was kind of bizarrely shocking when it sprang out of the blue like, like last week, and um. We've seen some very strange situations in Northern Ireland, and Northern Ireland's politics often throw up stuff that's like, what's that? And have done over the years, but this was uh, this was a new one it, altogether. Uh, we can see Gavin Robinson promising to support him. You can see Carla Lockhart down here, who's another MP from the North, promising to do so as well. But I can't see how it's not going to have an impact. Now, of course, on the other side of the Irish Sea, let's see how RTE are reporting it in Ireland. Because, of course, it's going to be a slightly different focus, I'm sure. Uh, we'll go past is Israel there and and that. I may come back to that. I'm deliberately trying to avoid talking about Israel because I am not some sage-like individual who can offer any great point of wisdom on that sadly i find the whole thing exceptionally sad let's let this update an incredibly difficult day days for gavin here's gavin again looking a bit shell-shocked i noticed there i mean this is not a funny situation despite that bit of uh, wisecrackery from me there whatever's gone on here is really going to hit to the um part of the party. Jeffrey Donaldson had been the leader of the DP for a, some time and had been involved in sort of unionist politics for the last four decades after a career which saw him interacting with Enoch Powell, closely involved with Ian Paisley and other figures. And all of that's going to be gone over with a fine tooth comb and come back to haunt him just as... as um, things like on the, from my side of the table, since I'll put my hands up and say I'm, I'd identify as Irish nationalist or Irish Republican, things like the sex scandals in the Catholic Church and sex scandals for certain nationalist politics has caused that. I have no idea what the fallout is going to be at this point, but we're certainly going to see some sort of strange sea change, I think. I'm absolutely bemused as to what's going on there and... The whole thing sounds rather gruesome and grotty, I'll be quite frank. Talk of video evidence and and all sorts of things. I don't want to go any further than that because this is a live case and I don't want to suddenly find a lawyer's letter dropping on my door about the matter, but I am following with great interest.